I'm just as shocked as you are. I'm sure many of you aren't surprised. You all probably have so many questions, as do I. We put up our tree. I love our tree because this is really me and Emilio's. Like we started collecting ornaments from all places where we've traveled. So this is from Puglia. This lemon is from um, Ravello. And we've got the orange from Sicily, but it's really heavy, so. So I'm not going to move that. We have this ceramic butterfly that, hold on, where is it from? Uh, we got this from, I think Burano, yeah, Burano. Um, and then we have all these cute little fichi d'India. We have one here, which is prickly pear in Italian, all made from ceramic. We have this one and then, oh yeah, well that's more like red and then we have a purple one here. And then uh, the most recent one that Emilio got was this one. He did put a bow on it. Like I wanted to put a little red, red ribbon on it. And growing up, my grandma would gift me one really nice ornament a year. And when I was a kid, I didn't really like get excited about it or understand it. But my mom saved them all until we got our first tree. And so like, for example, this is Waterford. She would always give me either a Waterford crystal ornament. This one I think is from 2014. And also Swarovski as well. So when you don't realize how special these ornaments are until you get older and you have a tree of your own. So cute. This was the year we got Barolo. It was baby Barolo's first Christmas. Barolo is very exhausted as you can see. Are you comfortable like that, dude? So change of plans. I got ready to go to the gym, but I forgot today's Sunday and the gym doesn't open till noon. So instead of just not going or I don't want to go later, I'm just going to put a workout up here on the TV and just do something like a 20 minute workout. That way I can just get it over with and enjoy my Sunday with this little prince. I don't have to leave you anymore. Your tongue feels like sandpaper but that's how much I love you my mom actually got me really into this one girl on YouTube I don't know full body sweaty not sure I mean it's her newest video but I'm not sure I'm up for that 20 minute glute workout I feel like that sounds nice full body complexes and set workout <laughs> Swoller. I'm trying. I'm trying. For the record, I've been doing these Caroline Giron workouts probably for the last couple of months. And in addition to cardio, it's really the only thing that I'm doing. And I feel like I see some definition there. So thank you, Caroline. Oh, okay. I'm winded. I'm going to rinse myself off before we have a little sit down chat. Barolo, do you want to work out? Are you trying to do yoga? Hmm? All right, testing out a new 
little setup here. Basically, I have my camera on my tripod on a trash can. Wait, hold on. I need to take a picture of this because this is hilarious. Ridiculous. Okay. All right, iced coffee time. I've made this numerous times here on my channel. And why, you might be asking, are you where are you making an iced coffee? In the middle of December and wearing a crop sweater. Well, first of all, I don't know why I'm wearing a sweater because it is 75 degrees outside and a little bit of humid today. So that's Texas winter for you. That's why I'm making an iced coffee instead of a hot coffee. And that's why my sweater's cropped. This is actually not even chilly enough to wear a sweater like this. If you know, you know. It's missing a little something today. It's also not as sweet as I like it normally, but we're trying to wean off of sugar here. So, it'll do. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's get all nice and comfy. I'm gonna take my braid out actually. Just anything that you can do, Sophie, to procrastinate. I'm doing this video. I don't know why I'm procrastinating in this video. I feel like I should be actually really excited. Let me zoom you all in. I feel like I should be all actually excited to do this video more than wanting to procrastinate it. I can't tell you how many times I've picked up the camera over the last three weeks probably and have vlogged stuff. Thanksgiving and just random days in my life and Italian content, honestly and I have not edited it, and I don't even know if that footage will see the light of day, honestly, because, you wanna come up here, but I don't know? Because as I was filming these vlogs, without you all knowing what's going on in my life, I feel like there's been this little, well, yeah, a little elephant in the room for me. You all have no idea about this, but for me personally, there's been this elephant while I'm filming, and I just feel like it can't be genuine enough while I'm filming content for you all without telling you the news. So very long winded and let's just get into it because you're probably like, tell us already. So no, I'm not pregnant. I know, so, sorry to disappoint some of you. That's probably my most asked question on Instagram is when are you going to have kids? But you know, in the future, hopefully, maybe if, if, if that can happen, but no, no, that's, I also realized that the pillows in the background, this is really bothering me, the pillows in the background are not fluffed up. I thought I was making bread. Okay, all right, Sophie, spill the beans, spill the beans. Okay, so, <laughs> Emilio and I are moving back to Italy. <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just as shocked as you are. I feel like that's just like a mic drop. Just dropped a huge. Uh, yeah, that is, that is the, that is the news. I've known for, it's, I've known for a little bit. And honestly, I haven't really known how to tell you all. Because first of all, I'm super, super excited, but I've had to wait until it's like kind of more official and not tell you in anticipo, like troppo in anticipo. So that's, that is what's happening. You all probably have so many questions, as do I. So what, Sophie? Everything that's happened has been insanely like serendipitous. This position within the company that I'm currently working in uh, just came to fruition and I was offered a position in Italy. <laughs> I'm moving back to Italy with Emilio and Barolo and Leo. Probably, I mean, our goal is 
to be there by February 2022. Let's cross our fingers that that is going to happen. There's a few factors on why it may not happen that early, but that's the goal. There's a lot that needs to be done because I'm sure you can see the house is a hot mess and it's full still, but we will not be taking any furniture with us, but we will have a lot more to move than we did coming. Basically when I left Italy, we got rid of everything, everything. I only came with suitcases. And this time we have a little bit more stuff, stuff that we've acquired, things that are a little more valuable that I just don't want to sell or, or donate. I want to take that with me in my life. And I'm tired of accumulating things and then just selling them or donating them and starting fresh all the time. Let's hope that this is the last international move that I will undergo. I don't even know where else to, what else to say because I'm in shock too. I'm still in shock just because I can't believe that these words are coming out of my mouth because you all know I've done so many videos after coming back from Italy about why I miss it, what things I do miss about it. And honestly, since I, you know, a huge reason was that I couldn't find, I just feel like it's all coming full circle. Like I left to find a career in an industry that I really was passionate about. I found that here in Houston and that company is sending me back to Italy with a contract, something I couldn't get at the time. It was really hard to get or find a company that would hire me just because of the unemployment right there and the opportunities there are far and few between. And my company now is sending me to live and work in Italy in a different, uh, I'll be on a different team and it will be different than what I have been doing for the last two and a half years. So I'm excited to grow my career as well that way and expand my repertoire and expand and learn new things. And you know, I am a dual citizen, so they don't need to give me a visa. I'm legal, I'm able to work there, I speak the language. And I think everyone I work with knows that my heart's in Italy. And it was just like, when the opportunity was presented to me, I was just like, yes, <laughs> yes. It's just an opportunity that I just couldn't, couldn't pass. Emilio is, it's been, the last few years have been really hard for him too, cause he's had to, he moved right before the pandemic, unbeknownst to us. We didn't know that the freaking pandemic was gonna come out. So finding work for him here has been difficult. He's slowly starting a new career here that he will have to leave to go back to Italy. So I know that that's bittersweet for him, but I just think that after living back here in the States for two and a half years now, I, I think that the quality of life and just long-term for me and Emilio at least outweigh the cons, the bureaucratical frustrations of living in Italy. I think I've always thought and pictured us raising a family in Italy. So, you know, ideally that will happen in the future. And I just think that it's time, like this opportunity came it's all full safe, it's all full circle. And I think, yes, I'm sad to be leaving my, my family and my really close friends here, but it's what has to happen. Like, how weird is it? I feel like the universe works in mysterious ways. Like how weird is it that this opportunity arose? So yeah, um, there's a lot to be done. I'm sure, oh, well, I'm sure most of you are wondering where, are you moving back to Rome? No, we're not moving back to Rome. The position is based out of Florence. So Amelia and I don't really know Florence all that well. So we are going to be exploring together. We haven't, we're, we're going to be renting an apartment eventually. We started looking on immobiliare.it, but I think what we've decided on because trying to sign a rental contract blindly, even though you can see pictures, or have people go and FaceTime you. We don't know the neighborhoods well yet. We don't know. I don't wanna do that blindly. So what I think we're going to do is stay in an Airbnb maybe the first month while we get acquainted, have appointments to check out house or apartments and do it that way. Airbnb and then rent a place. So that 
is our plan for now. In terms of moving, we have reached out to a few international moving companies to get quotes just to see what it would be like to have putting our stuff in a container and having it like shipped overseas by, you know, by sea. Um, that way we can schedule delivery whenever we are able to get into like our rental apartment after the Airbnb. So that's kind of, we're looking at quotes right now. I think, you know, we have artwork now, we have framed posters and we have a lot more things that I wanna take with us. I don't wanna to have to buy everything there again. I don't, I'm so tired of starting from scratch. So we're going, hopefully the quotes aren't too, too high because that may just be the easiest solution. So I will definitely keep you posted. I was thinking about blogging the whole experience. I want to blog the process because I remember when I, when we moved from Italy to here, I didn't really vlog the whole entire process. I did a couple of videos on some things, but I didn't vlog. And you know, there will be some stressful days. I'm trying to take it all day by day and really be more excited than stressful because at the end of the day, it's a really exciting move. It's a new city for us. It's an adventure. So trying to, to encapture that and embody the excitement within the move and make it an exciting process rather than an anxiety ridden stressful process. So there's a lot to do but with the holidays. We're gonna be gone for almost a month, like visiting my dad in California, spending time with my mom and stepdad. We have to figure out the pets. We're definitely bringing them, but we have to figure that out. There's a lot to figure out. And so I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I do too. And so that's why I would love to vlog the journey. What, what kind of vlogs would you like to see? <laughs> this is, I feel like this is not happening a year from now, it's happening in a couple of months. So there's a lot to be done. One of my last vlogs, I told you all, I put a lot of listings, clothing and shoe wise on my Poshmark closet. <laughs> I already knew then, but I couldn't share the, inf I couldn't announce it yet. So I still, I've sold a lot of things, but I'm going to be putting more things on my closet. And then I also am going to donate a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff, clothes, books, pet stuff. There's a lot, there's a lot y'all, there's a lot. I'm sure a lot of you aren't surprised because you all know how much my heart's in Italy, how much I've missed it. And you know, I'm sure many of you aren't surprised, but I feel like this is surprising. Like I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised, you know, like it's crazy that it's happening and that it's real that it's really happening. Like I feel like earlier this year, I I feel like I've manifested this. It's crazy because I, for those of you who know Zoe, I was talking to Zoe way back in like, probably before we even went to Italy this summer. And I was like, I'm so excited to go back to Italy. I can't wait. And Zoe told me, she was like, you know, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling that you, we'll be back in Italy living and working there by 2022. And I was like, what? No, I was like, with like with what job? I was like, no way, no way. Zoe, you were right. It's crazy, it's crazy. A lot of the logistics are still unknown to me, but I'm really excited to bring you all along. You know, for those of you who have been here from the beginning, we're going back, we're going back going back <laughs> I can't believe it so first things first what we're going to do today is we are going to I'm going to take you to my closet and we're going to um, start there's already stuff that I know that I want to donate like not even try selling just donate so we're going to put some of that stuff in a bag and I want to do a little bit a day I've already put many things on the Facebook marketplace. So like kitchen appliances, for example, like a toaster, air fryer, blender I haven't put yet, but I will be putting on soon. I sold my KitchenAid like a couple weeks ago because I know we're not gonna use in the next few months. So if you are in the Houston area um, and there's anything that you see in this place and you're interested, let me know. Uh, I'm really sad about, especially my pot pottery barn uh, dining room table because that was like my big first adult furniture investment I feel like and now this does not make sense to take with me I don't know eventually our apartment in the future 
I don't have the dimensions and you know, Italian apartments are a lot smaller. So I just don't, it's not smart to take furniture. It's all, it's all gotta go. I just wanna say I'm really excited to, to, to partake in this journey and bring you all along with me. And to thank you all for always being such amazing supporters, whether it's you know me ranting about missing Italy, me in Italy ranting about missing the US, You've all stuck with me and have always made me, well, most of you, you know, there's trolls out there, but if you're watching this and you made it this far, you're probably one of the good ones. <laughs> have always been rooting for me no matter what we end up doing. And I'm really excited to share this next chapter with you all. It's gonna be a really big chapter in our life. I'm stressed, I'm terrified, I'm excited, I'm overwhelmed, I can't wait. All the feels. All right, first things first, we're gonna head to the closet, start weeding out stuff I don't want, I wanna donate, sell, all that jazz, and just stay tuned for more. This is our closet right now. I still have it unpacked from Thanksgiving, so I should probably do that right now, actually. Emilio's side, you guys have seen our closet before, but I have so much stuff. I don't know how I accumulate all this. I don't want to bring all this with me. Hence, a little day by day. And I'm going to start with, I think, these. I don't know why I have matches in here. Because a lot of this stuff is just old summer things that I don't want to take with me that I could easily donate and a few that I could try to sell on Poshmark. So keep your eyes peeled on my Poshmark closet if you're interested in any of that. Um, yeah, this is going to be step one. I'm going to try to sell these dressers or drawers and also these shoe things. So if you're in the Houston area and you're interested, um, we have one, two, three, we have one more downstairs too. So I will be, you know, hit me up. And what I typically do, like to distinguish what is granted a donation pile versus a selling pile, is if I know it's not gonna sell or it's just that old that I don't even think it's worth selling, I would donate. So there's some of Emilio's stuff in here too. Like these things I would wear, again, this I'm donating. It's like yellow, it used to be white. I am literally one of those people that I'm like, donate, 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 give, give, give. I just, I cannot stand to like just have stuff sitting in my closet. Especially, and I feel like it takes a move to make, I've been, I'm pretty good at doing it like every six months, but a move especially makes me do this. 